Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Greythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. there. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. We actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages. Even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. 
Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to talk. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Leos! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is it? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, God! save for the Reavers in such a world. Another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy. You're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. <laughs> so about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, 
So did the Giants or the Elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. The few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this 
this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower you see from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it... It's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. 
And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet! What's happening?! <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light! But be very careful not to get your nose! She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing.
I think you killed it. Look up there! Not our concern, boy. Focus. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. us for. We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? Say something? No. Oh, okay. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. At least we're getting closer to the light. Sindri?
There's a boat tangled up over there. the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But... Uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true! They inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. If you're not in a hurry, let's do it. Who knew? Travel safe, you...
too. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. What can I do for you? Ah, what more do you need? Was there more? Let me think. I'm feeling creative today. How about you, young one? Good. Also, remember to breathe. I don't suppose you can try keeping that clean. Yes, my young man? Something else for you then. Why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... 
for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Atreus, follow me. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, we kept them isolated. Said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. <clears throat> Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. <clears throat> it's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Evil. Try talking to them? No. But maybe they need a They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us.
is a little temple. Sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Enemies ahead! Hang on to it. It's magically locked.
else were you going to tell me about war? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is on. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Good night! Enemies ahead! Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay, so that did something, I think. Focus on it! problem with us we do not belong here wait combined together like that they kind of look like a room it doesn't make sense come back to the boat
don't see anything else over here. Maybe we should check the sand bowl again? Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So... She'd help out the elves? No. Father! The pillars and ring form an elvish room! What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices. Less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruler. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard Mother. That is not possible. And I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. Who they want he looks different. Look at those horns. Do not Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. Oh. 
That side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. back there. Oh. I know Mother's voice better than any of It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine.
No way across here. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. The Blue Temple door! We're almost there. But the bridge crystal's still covered in that stuff. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right.
against him! Watch our backs, boy.
We brought the main bridge back. We must find a way up. Huh. Guess the light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. Again. Sindri? Hey Sindri, we found some this way. Hey Sindri, could you take Whoa! You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. Let's get started then. Master Atreus, how may I serve? lay his hands on again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Was there more to discuss? To work we go.
Nothing to your liking. I see. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. Betray us! To me! I'm coming! I'm coming!
We're inside. Of course. Focus up, boy. here before the dark elves destroyed everything. Whoa! Now that's impressive.
There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. Why would they do that? Look, another light off. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. for a way inside. Bridges. Follow me. Focus up, boy. Come <laughs> on. 
out of breath. Restoring all the pathways. No, give me a moment. See? It's too hard. We should go. Not yet.
don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. When we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how'd I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. <laughs> Quiet! I have him. You're not going. Be ready. We will need to move quickly. Between your volleys. There are many targets. You will not miss. They're everywhere. A narrow path negates superior numbers. Stay focused.
Are you injured? I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Ugh. That really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want to Stay. Go use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. know him and he doesn't know me. Doesn't seem to want to. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except, I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere.
What have you done? Why did you do that? I saved you! You were trapped in there! I waited and I waited, but you wouldn't come out! So I pulled you out! Boy! I was gone only... Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time! I didn't know what to do! You left me here! Again! <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. crystal head just laying there maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place
if you find me an angle. Let us make our way back up. This is block two.
Where are you taking that? Boy, over here. <sighs> oh, look. The blue door, that's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? Gonna carry that everywhere? I just might. Maybe instead of looting a sacred temple, we could just get out of here? If I want your opinion, boy, I will ask for it.
You can reach the bowl now. Uh-huh. Anytime you're ready. What does this mean? Seed. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and seed. Stupid rails. So, it's a door after all.
You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, I'll make... manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Oh, what? Nothing? Oh, okay. Oh, I could use a distraction. Nothing to your liking, I see? Uh, yes, yes, come in. That'll come in handy. <laughs> Get it? And for the youngster? What shall it be?
If you don't need it, don't buy it, I always say. Great. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? I hate that guy. He will be back. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then? There isn't a way back up from here, you know. I know.
Where are you going? Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. Standing here a while. from here.
shoot. I know how it works. Finally, we can use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here.
Okay. Tricky. Very tricky.
Breather, grow brother, Ulrich, think you're out. No, that can't be. What did it say? That we made a grave mistake. Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine. Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. In the light, I felt only moments pass.
if that is of some comfort to you. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Father, you ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Well, good thing I didn't drink any seawater. Right? Yes, it is. Observant. I am known for my attention to detail. To work we go. to provide very well to business or never mind then what speaks to you Feeling less cluttered already. Oh. Isn't that neat? Oh, that's fine. Always happy just to chat. What can I do for you?
Yes, my young man? Spoil the boy.